This video is going to be a review, an installation guide on the Bike Aru comfortable wide saddle bike saddle. It's a it's a woman saddle. Let's go zoom in over there. And what you see it says is most comfortable women's bike saddle satisfaction guaranteed. So what do we have in this package? Let me turn it over so you can see what it says. Get some info on here. It is definitely not a very light saddle. I'm lifting this thing up now. This has got some uh, some heaviness to it. The cool thing, that's, I think this is really great, comes with a 5 and 6 millimeter hex key so that you can mount this and you can take off your old one if you need one of the hex things. And then it comes with a universal tool, which I think is awesome. And so let me do a little bit of talking on bike seats. Not that I'm an expert, but let me do some talking on that before I do the installation. And then the review. I'm a guy, obviously, and this is my Euro Mini folding bike. I've done a review on this. It's an awesome bike. I love it. And the problem that I have with the seat, you look at the seat, this is a standard male seat. It's really a standard bicycle seat, but it is long and narrow, and it's narrow at the back. And the idea behind that is that most bike riders will be riding leaning forward on the bike. Their, their body will be hunched over, they'll be leaning towards the handlebars, and so a majority of your weight is going to go on this area. And I'll talk about that in a minute also. And if you sit straight up or upright on a bike, then you are going to have a majority of your weight on the back part of the bike seat. Now, if you are leaning forward, that's not a problem. If you're leaning back, then you're dealing with your sit bones, seat bones, whatever you want to call them, the bones in your butt that uh, will be directly on the bike seat. And if you are a tall male, there's a very good chance that your seat bones, sit bones, whatever you want to call that, are narrow, not a big width, and they will fit on the seat properly. If you are a woman, women because of their uh, body structure for uh, having a wider pelvis so they can deliver a baby, women have a wider span between their uh, seat bones and so if the sit bone, the seat bone, ends up on the edge of the seat, then you're going to have an enormous amount of pain. Now, what you find is that not only do women have wider seat bones, but a lot of men have uh, wider seat bones, and men that are shorter also have wider seat bones. Uh, tall men or Taller than average men will have narrow seat bones, sit bones. I'm going to keep repeating that just to drive you people crazy. Uh, and tall women tend to have narrow gaps between those bones. So a bike like this is really, a bike seat like this is good because chances are you're going to be leaning forward on this part. And if you end up sitting backward and upright, then the bones will be over here where they should be. Again, if you were a shorter male or a woman, chances are the seat bones are much wider and you're going to be sitting on the edge here and you're going to end up with a lot of pain and uh, probably sores on your butt and a lot of irritation. Get back to the seat in a minute, but I did a quick unboxing here. Here are the two wrenches and the universal wrench. And just so that you can uh, see the instruction sheet, if you're interested, before you purchase it. You can put this on pause if you need to, to look at it. And it talks about how you can remove the post if you want to do the uh, adjustment, the installation. It talks about the tubular seat post, which uh, I'll show you that in a second. Or the bent top seat post, which a lot of us have. And it tells you how to do this. And then on the package, 
It gives you some instructions, and it also has a phone number and an email address that I'm uh, showing here if you're interested. And a barcode if you want to go watch the video on how to do it. Back to the unboxing, we've got the post. If you're going to be mounting, I'm going to have to cut that off with uh, cutters, but it comes with the post if you're going to be mounting using the post. And if your bike is set up where you're just going to be mounting on the rails, then uh, it comes with uh, the rail setup. I don't know what we have inside here. What do we have inside here? We have a leave a message. Well, isn't that sweet? That's pretty kind of cool. So you got a little, uh, looks like a magnetic thing with a marker. Very awesome bikeroo advertising. And what else do we have in here? You can definitely tell that this company is owned by females. Nothing against that. I think that's pretty awesome. I don't know if this is a case or if this goes over the head. How cool is this? It comes with, looks like a little bikeroo uh, plastic cover. Maybe for protection or for dirt, for storage, for dust. Maybe for when it's rainy. Maybe so you can slip and slide on the seat if you want to do that. So what else do we have? We have wor Your Words Matter. And a uh, little message card in there. Let's talk about seats for a while. You can see the difference already. I believe my seat bones on the other seat were sitting somewhere around here right on the edge. Lots of pain. Incredible amount of pain. And I don't know yet if this seat's going to take care of the problem, but I'm, gonna, I'm assuming it's going to. Uh, the other seat went all the way around. This one has an indent. I would guess that's so uh, for your butt to make it a little bit more comfortable. And so we have a gouged out area here and a cutout over here. And like most female seats, remember the other one, it was narrow and long. The nose was long. The female seat is normally shorter, and let's see, why do they do this? Well, they put this gap in here because when a woman is sitting on the seat, her Yahoo is going to be, uh, when a woman is sitting on a bike seat, her yuha wuha is going to be grinding and rubbing against this area and it will be numb. It could end up numb. It cuts off the blood circulation to that area. So her wuhi-wahi is going to have uh, some numbness over there and you never want that down there, especially uh, if you're a woman. Now for a man, men have to worry about this too. I believe the word is called perennia, perenni, perennium. That's that gaposis between your uh, between the lunch counter and the outhouse over there and so if you're cutting off the blood to that area and you're a male you could end up with uh, lots of numbness you could end up with uh, serious problems down there let's just not go into detail but you could end up with a lot of problems with uh, with your ability to perform or uh, to have uh, a good count of items down there. So you want a, a gouged out area in the seat if you're a man. And if you're a woman, as I said, you also want that gouged out area, but you want this area in here because that is where um, the lips to the city are going to be going. And if, if the woman is sitting over here, she needs this area gouged out, opened up, so that... Uh, everything slides down in there properly and doesn't get irritated or lose blood flow. So that's the advantage of a seat like this. It's got a shorter nose, which if you're leaning forward, you're not going to like that. And the reason they also have a narrow nose on a man's bike is because you want to lean forward, you want it long so you don't fall off the, the bike seat, but you also want it narrow so that your thighs don't get jammed against the bike seat and irritated. With the uh, female seat here, as I said, it's shorter because you're hopefully not going to be leaning forward on the bike seat. And you need a little bit more width. You shouldn't have a problem with chafing or uh, gouging out your or irritating your th inner thighs. 
and then you want this opening for obvious reasons. And the most important thing, and the main reason that most people don't like a stock seat is because it is too narrow and you need something for your seat bones and look at this right now let me zoom in a little bit you can see I'm gonna show you the other seat in a minute you can see that this has got some cushions so when your bones are sitting on here they're gonna go right in there this is this is gonna be good for me because I have my seat goes up to about over here and I sit right on the edge and I'll show you what the cushion is in a minute so it's got a lot of cushion money back guarantee it's got this little cutout here which I think is a cool thing I'm just looking at it and imagining this is probably gonna be really good for uh, that area and I like the cutout definitely it's got some nice spring action and uh, let me go show you the other seat and then I'm gonna go install this thing so we look at this again long and narrow very narrow at the back and my bones sit right about right over here right on the edge very painful check out the wall I just painted this wall I'll be using this as my backdrop for my videos speaking of videos if you like my videos and you uh, want to do a thumbs up a subscribe or a like that would be very helpful to me if you would like to leave a donation and uh, help me out, please ask for my PayPal info. And if you want me to review something, feel free to ask me. I'll be more than happy to help you out if I can. So let's look on the bike seat bottom. We have, it's really hard to see, but there is not much of a bottom. We have the rails, we have no springs over here, which is how these seats are made. There's a lot of, a lot of uh, years of design experience and knowledge that have gone into the the design of bike seats and they're all pretty much standard now so there's no spring cushioning there's nothing to take up the uh, if you're going to be hitting over bumps going over bumps there's nothing that's going to absorb any of that and you just have the uh, the standard bike seat so let me go install a new one I'm really looking forward to this case I've got a hex key, key over there a little hex uh, bolt and I believe I will just be taking off the seat and using the new bike roof seat with their rails. If you want to use, if you have a post on your bike, this doesn't have a post, but if you have a post coming up, then you would be uh, attaching that clamp around the post and then attaching the clamp to the rails. My bike, I've got a light reflector that's in the way of the bolt that holds the seat on so your situation might vary compared to mine but I'm just gonna put a screwdriver in here remove the reflector I'll show you where the bolt is and then we will uh, watch together as I put on the new seat we can see that the bolt goes through the bottom and all it's doing is clamping the bottom part of this bracket to the top part and the rails of the seat are held in between the top and the bottom so get out your five or six inch uh, get out your five or six what you want to do is get out your hex wrenches that come with the package number five or six see which one you are going to need um, this seat is perfectly level it might be down a little bit on an angle but that's going to be an adjustment that you will need to make on your own when you figure out which way you want your seat to be riding. Normally it's down just a fraction on an angle. So I'm going to put the wrench in here. Make sure you get it seated properly. You don't want to strip the head of the screw or the bolt. This is definitely tight, as it should be. And insert the wrench press in so it's seated properly loosen it now that I've got it loosened I'm going to use the other side of the wrench to loosen a little more and now I'm trying to see if I can remove this there we go I've got it turned to the side I was able to remove it 
You see what I did? The bracket goes like that. I turned it to the side. I was able to remove it. And we have the rails of the new seat. Here we have the rails of the new seat. I am not going to be using the post bracket. You might need that for your installation. In my case, I won't need it. So all I need to do now is place. It's all universal. That's why it's really nice with these newer bikes. Place the bracket into the bottom part of the rails, the little rails down there. And I might have to loosen this just a little bit so I can turn it and get the bracket on the top part. You want to line the seat up so that the rail sits inside the top and bottom bracket. You'll be able to make your adjustments later for tilting up and down or going forward or back. So that's going to be a personal choice for you if you need the seat to be sitting back further or more towards the front or if you need it to be angled. That will be your personal choice. So I've got my bracket holding the top and the bottom. Now I've got a, a nut on the back over here where the bolt is. I'm just trying to position that so I can tighten everything. I'm going to get my hex tool. I'm going to start tightening everything. Again, I you can use, uh, hopefully my hand's not blocking everything. Tightening it down with the supply tool. And now what I'm going to do, which you don't need to see on the video, I'm going to figure out if the forward or back position is good for me. And that whole process took, what, a minute, two minutes? Now, you remember, this thing was extremely tight when I took it off. And you want this to be extremely tight when you put it back on, because you don't want to have your seat fall forward or backward or slide or spin around while you're riding. You don't want to hurt yourself. So don't torque it down until you break it, obviously, but I've got both hands on here, doing a good turn. It's definitely tight. Now I'm going to go put my reflector back on. And the bike seat is installed in minutes. I'm going to sit on this thing right now. Now as far as adjustments, as I said, that's a personal thing. You're just going to have to decide if you want the seat to be more forward or not or if you want it to be angled, straight, or downward a little bit. Um, what I can tell you right now, I think you can see it in the video, is my seat bones, I'd like to show this to you from behind, but I won't be able to. My seat bones are right, obviously, in the middle of my butt, and they come up to about here on the seat, which means that I've got about three fingers width before I hit the edge. Um, I've got full cushion all the way around the back of my butt, which to me is really important because I, uh, I've got much wider seat bones than most guys probably would. And I have no problem riding a, a woman's or a female bike seat if it's going to make things easier for me. As far as the crotchal area, as far as the nose, the nose stops right at my package. Um, I have no... Everything's sitting in there okay. Whereas with the other seat, it would probably be going out to about here. Um, as far as the gap, I've got my finger, I'm going underneath the seat now. Putting it into the, uh, the gap that was in there, the cutout. 
and that fits. That goes, I don't know if I can show, that goes right into this one little area here, the perennia, perennial, what a perennia, perennium, perennium. That goes right into this one area here, and that is where the nerves are for men that will, uh, that you need the blood flow. That's where a lot of men have problems with uh, cutting off the blood flow. And again, with the female, with their hoo-ha, woo-ha, um, that's why you want that cut out right around this one area. So, all I can say is I'm very impressed with the packaging. I'm impressed that they gave the tools and they gave that extra tool uh, besides the hex wrenches. I, the seat's got a lot of cushion, which to me is important. Again, again, because there is no cushion on this thing and there's not supposed to be. These seats are made this way for a reason. Um, and in that type of riding, you don't really need cushion. Your, your body, your, you, the, whole, the whole idea is that you're supposed to be leaning forward on the seat over here. You're not supposed to be, can I zoom out? No. You're leaning on this part of the seat. That's the goal, is to lean on this part, not to be sitting on this part. So, a lot of cushion on the back. It's got the spring that, back there, like I said. It has the nice cutout over here. It's got the shorter nose, which I think will help a lot of people. Um, it is definitely, it's not a light seat. Like I said, 1.6 pounds. If you're a racer, you might not want one, one and a half pounds. You might want something like this or out of fiberglass. So uh, the only other thing I can say now is even though my back is killing me and I screwed it up from painting and I'm going to be taking this thing out on the road because I want to give you an honest review of what I think of this seat. When I use this seat and I do a 20 mile ride, I can barely stand when I get home because my butt is killing me. It hurts. Um, because the bones are literally sitting on the edge of this thing. And before I take it out on the road, let's look at this a little bit and see what we're dealing with. Let's go to the back. Just a little bit shorter in the nose, not that much. Now I was talking about seat bones, so let's look at what we've got here. We've got almost the same width. We've definitely got the same width. But for some reason, whether it is the width or the flatness of this, or the cushioning, I don't really know, this seems to be much more comfortable to me as of right now. The cutout is over there. Instead of the cutout over here, you've got the gouged out area where the, uh, the nerve for the man would be pressing, or it would not be pressing because this is gouged out. But for the hoo-ha woo-ha, um, there is no cut out there, so it's going to be digging right into this, and she's not going to be happy at the end of her ride. And that's the full install. Very easy to do. One screw for me after I remove the reflector. With you, you might have to remove uh, the bracket, or you might be dealing with that post adapter, but at least they give you everything that you're going to need. So, to keep my word, I'm definitely going out on the bike right now, even though I don't want to. And I'm going to test this thing out, and I'm going to come back home and give you an honest opinion of what I think of this seat. Hey, I'm back uh, for my bike ride, and I'm going to do the review part of it now. I'm a little out of breath, but uh, I want to get this thing finished. So let me tell you some of the obstacles that I was dealing with beforehand, and then I'll uh, give you my opinion of the seat. Um, I threw out my back yesterday because I was riding my bike the last uh, couple days and so my hamstrings got really tight. You can see this white wall behind me. This used to be yellow gold. So I've been painting this, lifting up the ladder, doing a lot of exercise, and my back was totally out. Um, really bad today. I had no plans to ride a bike at all. So first off, I'm riding with a bad back. Secondly, it's freezing out there. Even though it's summer right now, I rode by the coast. It's windy, it's overcast, it's cloudy, it's foggy. Um, and I'm all protected with UV gear, so I'm all hot with leggings and arm sleeves and a skull cover and a uh, helmet, so it's really hot out there. So it's, it's hot, I'm hot, but it's miserable because it's kind of windy and cold. Uh, 
I uh, didn't really eat a lot this morning, which was stupid because I wasn't planning on doing this bike seat and doing a bike ride. So I didn't have a lot of energy in me, just some oatmeal and, uh, and that was pretty much it. So I got on the bike and then I thought, let's see how I can handle this thing. Now, my first mistake was that I did not take the wrench with me. I mean the, uh, the Allen wrench. Because what you want to do when you're pedaling is you want to have, you want to be able to press forward a little bit to use the leg strength. And this bike seat, I didn't adjust it properly for front and back. So I was literally pedaling downward instead of being able to pedal this way, which made the bike ride extremely difficult for me. I'm not at the review yet. I'm just letting you know what I was dealing with. So it made it extremely difficult, took a lot of energy, and, um, and I didn't have a lot of energy because I didn't eat well, and I was really sore on my back. So let's get to the bike seat now. I sat on this bike seat for three hours. The plan was to only ride a couple miles so I could do a good review. And as I rode, I thought, I can't really do a good review if I can't use my 20-some mile bike ride as an example so I can compare the two. So I rode, whew, I'm out of breath. I rode uh, 23 miles. I was in this seat for almost three hours and two minutes. There were a few sections on the bike path where I had a walk because you can't ride in that area. Um, I've got biker shorts on, I've got the padding shorts underneath, and I did not use the, uh, the butt butter, the lube stuff underneath them, and I'm also wearing some jockey underwear under there. So the jockey underwear with the seams should really cause a lot of trouble. And when I rode with the other bike seat, always sore, the, the seat, seat bones just hurt. They hurt so bad I was in, in just incredible pain, fidgeting in the seat constantly. Um, and I was even getting uh, sores on my butt because of that. And so that's what I wanted to see, what would happen with this. Three hours and two minutes in this bike seat. The only fidgeting I was doing was because I had absolutely no energy and I was literally struggling the last couple miles just to be able to pedal. I, I just couldn't do it. Um, I had a couple snacks along the way. I barely could go. So I was fidgeting in the bike. Um, no seat bone pain at all. None. Absolutely none. Three hours in this seat. When I'm on my old seat, that's the worst part of the bike ride is sitting in that bike seat. Even if I don't have the energy, I just can't handle the pain and I'm constantly moving around. Well, I was moving around on this seat a lot because I just didn't have any strength and energy at that point. No chafing over in the thighs. This was absolutely perfect over here. This did not cause any uh, package damage. No, uh, the, the package and everything is fine. This little cutout over here. Um, let me be honest with you. When I started riding this bike within the first couple of minutes, I thought I was floating on air. I, I just said, I can't believe that it is so comfortable. And because it was. And that's why I just kept on thinking, keep going, keep going, keep going. Let's prove this out. Um, the seat is wide enough for me that I don't really know where the bones were sitting because I compared it with the other one. Let me get that. I compared it with the other one and it's not, well, yeah, it is. It's, okay, now what I do it this way. It's about maybe an inch wider overall. Um, the seat, there's a lot of cushion in here and there's just no cushion in this at all. And this cushion, you can, I'm, I'm pressing down, this cushion just was everything to me. No pain in the uh, butt bones at all. No pain in the crotch area in the perineum. I think it's perineum. I think I set it right this time. No, no pain in the crotch area. No pain at all. And again, I was wearing uh, underwear underneath all of this stuff and I could feel the seams from the underwear digging into my skin a little bit because I didn't have any butt butter on there. No buttocks lube. But even though I didn't have that, just no pain with this seat. Absolutely no pain. So um, the difference between 
the stock seat and this seat is I could ride for a long, long, long time if I didn't burn out and have no energy after so much time. So I love the seat. It's well worth the money. I don't even remember what I spent. I didn't spend that much money on whatever I spent. I think it was even cheaper than some of the seats that I bought at the other stores that over, over the long run, I've spent a lot of money on seats and none of them were good. This seat, love it. Recommend the seat, spend the money, buy it. If you're a guy, buy this thing. You're, uh, if, again, if you're a racer and you lean forward on here, you might not like it. It's a little heavier than these type of seats. But for me, the comfort, the comfort zone was awesome. And, uh, and everything that gets affected over here when you're crushing that nerve, that alone uh, should be uh, reason enough for a man or a woman to want to get a seat like this. So, totally recommend this seat. Please, thumbs up, subscribe. I spent a lot of time on this, a lot of energy doing this video. So, uh, again, if you want to help out, ask for my PayPal if you want to leave a donation. And feel free to share this video with everybody because this seat is worth its weight in gold. Have fun riding out there. Thanks for watching.